when you hear about negative energy we think of horrible movie we think about spooky things negative energy is something that we should not be afraid of it's energy that needs to be cleansed and to be removed in a powerful way and positive way we should we should be in our power when we remove negative energy because negative energy is the one that is on lower vibration we need to be on a high vibration so in this video i'm going to show you how you can cleanse negative energy around your space and around your physical body hello castle of faith welcome to my channel works of faith before we start and before i show you how you can remove negative energy using sage i know maybe you know all about sage sage is a very powerful tool to use to remove negative energy it's a very powerful tool because of its smell and because of its the smoke that comes from this beautiful sage but remember remember because of faith nothing is something before you turn it to something you are the one that give something power to work for your good remember that because of faith always this has nothing to do with power it is you who channel the power of this it is you that create the power on anything that you want to use in your life to remove negative energy to cleanse it is you that have power and your words and intentions and always know this because of faith that no one have power over your life no one or nothing has power over your life you are the one that is responsible for your life what is happening in your life the energy that you are around you are the one that you are powerful over to remove or to choose to live with that energy and negative energy you know that can cause havoc in your life can cause problems and it can increase to extent that it's going to affect your finances relationships and even the interaction within yourself it puts you in a low vibration where you cannot even manifest nothing in your life where you always attract negativity the havoc that i'm speaking about so here i have sage sage is a powerful tool you can use always to cleanse your space or negative energy around your body because sometimes our energy system go down because of our thoughts our weight so this is a very powerful thing a negative energy can be caused by misunderstandings low vibration communications what you think about yourself what you tell about yourself and sicknesses can be a negative energy it's a dark low vibration that's why we call it negative energy and when you burn sage to start to do the cleansing it's either in your home or yourself burn sage with intention some people burn sage just and leave it there for the smell of it yeah the smell of it is powerful but you have you have to have intentions you have to know why you are burning sage you can burn sage anytime when you feel like you need to burn it but burn it with intentions and with words with words because sage it causes the smoke the smoke is a, is a symbol of fire whether where there is smoke there is fire and the fire is an element of this world i always burn sage when i prepare myself to pray to connect myself with my higher self or while i'm meditating that's when I want to connect with my spiritual guides to to clear the, the any negativity that is between me to my, and my spiritual life. It is giving me that opportunity to to get to give myself to be there in a spiritual to be more spiritually than physically. Being a sage, because of faith, it's a it's a part of you putting yourself high, being in power. It is not the one that gives you power. You are already powerful. But doing this, it's a symbol. It's a symbol of connecting yourself, like I said, to your higher self, being in your power. Because sometimes knowing that you are, you are powerful without words, it can be hard. It can be hard to someone to, to believe that they are powerful. But when you use something to show that you are powerful and you are in charge, that's when you are going to see that uh, you are powerful. You are getting, getting that power because there is something to use. What I love also about sage, sage smells good. I have never used a sage that smells bad. All of them, they smell good. They smell good. And you know negative energy loves to dwell. There is a dull smell that is, there is no flow of air inside of it. So when you burn sage, when you burn sage, the smell of it removes that negative energy of that dull smell that it doesn't smell good. So negative energy doesn't like it running it, it will run away 
it will be removed itself when it's the smell of sage comes and smells. So this is how you are going to sage your home. And sage your home always when you feel uh, like there, there, there was, maybe there was a misunderstanding in, in your home. Quarrels, sickness, always sage your home. Go to corner to corner of your home, each and every room. Sage, sage, when you get there, speak. And this is so important. Hear this because of it. When you remove negative energy, you don't remove negative energy to go away. No. Please understand this. You remove negative energy by sending the light to it and you send it to the light. Because negative energy, evil spirits, they are the spirits that they are dark. They are dark. They need to, for us to send back, so to send them light and or to send them back to the light, to the source. Because when you say out, out you evil spirit, where do you think that that spirit will go? Because remember, energy, the spirit doesn't die. It just changes form. So when you say out you evil spirit, out you negative energy, it will go away, yes. But it will return because you are going to attract it again. But when you send it the light, you, you, you are removing it with love. You are sending it love and peace. It's not like you are entertaining that spirit. You are... It is the gesture of power over the negative energy. And you know, you are going to be sure that it has found peace. Because negative energy, remember, because of faith, it, it involves so many things. I mentioned quarrels, misunderstanding, evil ways people that sent it to you, evil thought that you think about yourself, ways that you say they cause a form of energy. And when it causes the form of energy, it, it, it will be against you. That's when you're going to experience negativity in your life problems sicknesses rejection fear so you are going to speak when you get to each and every room that you negative energy find light i send you light right now i remove you to receive light i'm telling you this kind of removing negative energy will give you peace you will no longer in your life always fighting negative energy negative energy because you'll know in your in your inner self that you have sent that negative energy to the light and it is, has found peace and it, you are turning it to the light. You are not against any negative energy because it doesn't die. It will not die. If we are saying out, it means that you are sending it to someone or to something and it will return back to you. So to say yourself, that one was about your home, removing negative energy with love, sending it to the light, send your light to it, to shine and for your body your physical body especially when you go to interviews or important meetings we know that sometimes we develop fear doubts and we are scared and those are the ones that causes negative energy fear causes negative energy doubt doubting ourselves it's a it's a low vibration causes negative energy and can increase when you are getting you are getting in your meeting or where you are going to places things or you are going to meet someone so before you go there, say yourself, say yourself, remove any negative energy. And when you are saying yourself like this, imagine or visualize the light. The light is surrounding you. It is surrounding you. You are forming the, the some, something like a fire, white, yellowish light, the divine light. Say yourself underneath your feet. Say yourself before you go. Say yourself, visualize the light that is around you, is surrounding you. Because when you get there, you are going to shine. You are going to send the, the light inside that room or to that people or to that situation that made you to meet up with those people. Whenever you are going there, you are going to shine the light. If you, there is negative energy there, it will be removed. Your light is going to shine it and it will get peace and it will get that light. Do it. Even if when you return there, sage yourself, workers of faith. Visualize again the light, the divine light surrounding you in from your heart. Just visualize the way you visualize, just visualize the light, the light and speak and speak. I am divinely protected. I am safe and I'm divinely protected. I am safe. Just pray the way you want. Say words that you want to. You you are thinking of yourself. Because remember, we have to know that we are safe. We are divinely protected. 
use sage whenever you think it is time whenever your intuition is telling you to use sage but always know that you are powerful and there is no energy that is powerful than you there is no energy or anything or people that they are they have power over your life sage yourself it's powerful because of it it is important most especially to use sage sage it doesn't take a long time for you to use it and it is not even expensive always make sure that you have something something like sage in your home something that makes the smoke because the smoke the smoke is a it is something like that will give you that thing that it is sending your words to that space or to your to the universe and it will return back to you the way you are sending your words and always when you remove negative energy be powerful be powerful with us of faith don't come there and say uh, I'm cleansing, I'm cleansing negative energy. Please go away. You are not asking that negative energy. You are commanding it to find the light. To find the light and get itself to be removed. You are powerful like a of faith. And please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And you can share this video to anyone, to your friends, to your family. That you think they might need to do this or to hear about the sage.